poor were like me when I first started um, a relationship with you, were to ask you, well, how can you supply me with this information? Um, and, and how do I get it from you? How, how do I, what should I do? What would be your response? Well, I do have a web page. It's tlem.net or .org. Uh, I do have the, I am certainly willing to go into any church and, and give training sessions on how to witness to the cults or how to, how to stop the cults in your area. I, I'm more than happy to do that. That's my main ministry is, is to, to, primarily when we first started out, was designed to, to actually go out as a support group to the church, a support ministry to the church, and go into the churches and, and show them how to witness to the, to the witnesses. Well, I know you've got, I've seen your brochures because I have some of them yeah. in my possession as well. Um, but do, do you have a, 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 a kind of like a newsletter? We, because we, it seems to me like... We are putting out a newsletter have, now. We have a, a monthly newsletter that was, was coming out now. And, and, but that's only just coding the top of the subject. It's not really getting well, into... What kind of information is contained into this... Well, this, well this. primarily what we try to do is, is the hot item of the month. In other words, uh, if, if a bunch of people are getting involved with the Unification Church, well, one of the problems recently is uh, the Unification Church or the, or the Family Federation for World Peace, which is now known as, is actually having the Christian churches take down their crosses and, and put up the crowns of the, of the king and the queen. Well, what the... Well, they don't know is the king and the queen is... Sorry to interrupt you, Fred, but let's just back up a little bit here. Okay. Uh, are you telling me that a person encouraged a Christian minister to take the cross of Jesus down from his church? Is that what you're saying? Over, over 120 uh, ministers took it down on Easter Sunday in uh, 2003. 120? Over 120 ministers have taken it. That was phase what, one. What, what could someone say to, to you, Fred? To, to, uh, how could someone encourage you to take the cross down on your Jesus. They, they couldn't down. do it with me. How, how would they, what would they have to say? There's not a thing they could say to get me to take the cross down. But, but again, what happens is, is they tell you that the cross is actually a, a torture weapon. What a Jehovah Witness will tell you that they don't use the cross because you wouldn't wear a forty five around your neck if, 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 you, if Jesus was shot with a forty five pistol. You wouldn't wear the pistol around your neck. So if he was hung on the cross, why would you put the cross on? They literally say this? They, they'd actually teach that, yes. Wow, I, I don't want to, 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 to question you too much on the occults because I believe you're doing a Sunday on the next, the next program. Well, not the we next program, to, but within well, one of the Within one of the other programs. One of the other programs. And you'll be doing several right. different occults so that right. the people can understand what they're faced with so that they can have conversations with their children, right. uh, when they go, especially when they go off to the college. I've been hearing a uh, uh, hint about uh, children disappearing from college. Is there any truth for that? Is, there, is this a problem? That's, or is it just an, an off and on thing that happens every now and then? That's my major concern. Again, with the 35 different recruiters up there, you need to understand what happens. We send the kid off to college, child off to, goes into college. Now, probably in many cases, that child is, is away from home for the first time for, any, for a prolonged period. Okay. So that child needs to, uh, to fit in. That child needs to get his, himself in. He needs to belong. He, he wants a, a sense of assurance of belonging, right? Right. So the, the recruiter comes over and love bombs him. I mean, we use the term love bombing, meaning... What does that mean? That means, oh, hey, Tony, how you doing? I, uh, I, 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 man, you're look, looking good. And Tony, you have a, if you have a problem, I got the same problem. Tony, I got this beautiful little girl over here I'd like you to meet. Or Tony, we're having a dinner uh, at this weekend. Why don't you come away with us? And all of a sudden, you become a very important per person to this person that's so already they, in. So they're befriending you then? Be well, they're okay. love bombing. You know. but, but the religion doesn't come into it at that particular time? No. Oh, I see. Okay. And then when they bring you off to one of these, these events, the, you go into this uh, banquet dinner or this, this retreat or whatever it is, what you don't realize is, is Tony is the only one, or maybe this Tony and one other person of the 12 people, that are not members of whatever that cult is. All the rest are, are part of the recruiting team. So there's a strategy kind of sort oh, of... Oh, it's a, it's a well-planned, it's a well-designed well strategy. Okay, so, Fred, if you had all the, 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 the resources that it would take to really get this message out, 